of human knowledge to a young girl in a remote village on a single handheld device. We're live and rolling. Hell, what's up, guys? What's up, dudes? What's up, yeah? Michael Rainey, John Del Calo. What's Thank up, you bros? for having us, man. Dude, yeah, thanks a lot. Fucking my goddamn pleasure, dude. Dude, we can't get enough of each other lately, John. Yeah, now, dude. So you guys have been doing back little rascals, doing this bro. Again. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, <laughs> shit, fucking rules. What's the, so? Hit the idea for the people. people All right, so people. little stinkers is basically like little stinkers. Eat, might be on I like little rascals about. better. Yeah, so we might change it. So from now on, I'm a fucking idiot. Guys. Basically, what little rascals is. <laughs> It's a bunch of badass kids. <laughs> it's one trench coat and three kids. <laughs> Two of them are probably sucking the other kid's dick. That's why I don't say anyone's name either. I meet a guy, I'm like, hey, I'll take an attempt at their name. They're just like, what? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm calling people dude from now on. Dude, but we're having the time of our lives. With little little stinkers. stinkers. Yeah, but basically little it's rascals. just. <laughs> Am I fucking 50 years old? As a comedy skit, you guys got little rascals. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about it. We've already done Alfalfa three times. <laughs> it's just a real motherfucker. Buckwheat. So you, you next spotlight. Week. You spotlight serial murderers, dude. It's just fucked up people. <laughs> people that have done fucked up things who also happen to be very funny. Like last night, we did a mob guy. That was like our first uh, break away from serial killers. Gosh, gotcha. well, they technically are. They're just glorified. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, he probably did kill a few hundred people. So. Jesus. He's a different he's, league of like, he's doing it for for money. You know yeah, he's he sold out. He sold game. out. He yeah. sold out. Yeah, he's a sellout. <laughs> but we're having time of our lives. We just switched over to doing them weekly, so I get to see this handsome devil. I wasn't trying to hold your hand, dude. I was okay, yeah, yeah. Pointing to you, you <laughs> I know. <fucking> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, when you when I heard about him, I damn that rules. Yeah, he's so perfect. Good. He's perfect for it. And uh, Jake Matera does a podcast with us, yep. and he's super fucking funny. And he's I been... saw you guys eating. Uh, what the fuck are you eating? Cheddar, oh my God. Uh, cheddar apple dude. pie. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, well, you said that like you know what it is. Have you ever uh, tried it? No, I've heard. I've heard of it before. It's pretty right? common Southern fare. Okay, I know I've heard of it before, but it. How did how'd she taste? Oh, I saw you're not much into trying new foods. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm already like a picky eater. Yeah, I didn't want to do it, but they made what's, me. What's 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 part of your diet regimen? Like, what's what's in your like day to day wheelhouse? A lot of McDonald's. You eat McDonald's? If I'm passing McDonald's, it's really it's gonna be seven bucks easy. <laughs> There's no like question. toll booths for you. You're like, God damn it! Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I just spent seven dollars. Well, it's got a so Mickey Easy Pass. They should do an Easy Pass where you, you just go in. They just like kind of look at you and like, hey, give them this. You're like, ah, <laughs> ten miles an hour. So you're hitting fast foods? Not often. Only if I'm only if I'm driving past Dude, one. Every time I see you, <laughs> yeah, so every time I see this motherfucker, he's got a bag of shit. Well, it's oh, been once a week since I've been going to his place. So there's some cold fries somewhere in your car at all at all <laughs> nah, times. We just got that shit detailed, dude. Really? Trash is out as soon as I'm done. Damn, those African gentlemen are probably munching when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made about five dollars in fucking coins and a yeah. hundred in fries. Going, oh, in, yeah. going in his fucking car, it's like an American blood diamond. <laughs> Fresh off like a 3,200 kilometer walk from like Sudan to Kenya and they hit your car and they're just like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. This place rules. Is that fries laying around? They stay good. They do. There's fucking videos of cheeseburgers aging for years. Dude, oh, my uh, spud found, uh, I think, the top of a biscuit somehow from like a McDonald's sandwich. Yeah. It just sat there for maybe months. Ate it? He munched. Oh, I yeah. believe he munched. I don't want to lie on his name, but I believe he said, just to prove a point, I think he munched. I believe it. Put butter on it or anything? Microwave it? Just... Nah, I think he was just mad dogging. Again, I, I know he found this. Whether or not he munched it, it could be, a pro it could be this dark chocolate coursing through my veins. <laughs> I think he took a bite. I would. 
They, my brother, you got to know. I think I, I'm going to say he, he took a bite, but I'll you know I'll let I'll let him he'll, he'll he'll correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll come right back to you guys and let you know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this biscuit should last less than three days yeah, for dude. being good. Should so. mold. Yes, exactly. No, they put like NASA chemicals in it. Yeah, that's all the astronauts eat. <laughs> big mass. <laughs> it's just big mass. Man, if they get McDonald's breakfast, I will become a fucking astronaut because I haven't woken up in time for that in years. Really? Yeah, you sleep yeah. in. You sleep in late. I do. I'm a lead sleeper. So is this what you tell? What do you tell your doctor when you go to the doctor? <laughs> it must be like a good one. The, they must get pissed. I have dude, the last time I went to the doctor is when I tried to tell her I had gout. Oh. I got, I, and she was like, "No, you don't get out of here." She was like shutting the door on me. As I'm like, "Is it the shoes I'm wearing?" She's like, "Maybe. Don't come back." <laughs> you had you you had it though. Yeah. What Gillis did, what diagnosed did he, me. Did he? <laughs> he did diagnose me. He should be a gout doctor. <laughs> he he already is. One is all it takes. So he he was like, "That's gout." Yeah. What does Damn. it look like? Sometimes your foot really swells up, your big toe. Mine never really got swollen, but like the pain was a ten without you, a doubt. What? You look like a gout man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been I've been <laughs> I've been waiting for it to hit me. <laughs> Going you look like a gout back steakhouse. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> the blooming big toe. <laughs> so yeah, you had so you had the your toe was fucking toe was hollering. Yeah. Your toe was hollering. <laughs> screaming. It happens at night, so it's just like at one point, the sheet, the weight of the sheet on your toe was just like too much. Did, for it, what? did it get better? Did it get bad enough to where like you took your shoe off and you had to describe him as dogs barking? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can't even touch it. Like if you touch it gently, it's fucking god awful. You got a limp. Does it just come at night? Is it like a sundowner's thing or is it just like all day? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it waits until you're not fucking. <laughs> and you know you're fucked. <laughs> so it came on out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, it came on after you know nine eleven. Thirty years of <laughs> thirty years of nuggets and Fuck beers, <laughs> and that's what it is. It's like eating shitty food uh, and alcohol. Yeah, is what really does. It. Like the day I, I like thought I had it, the day after Shane told me I had it, mm. I ordered like a salad for the first time in my life, <laughs> just like sadly eating mozzarella cheese and fucking oh, just capri. limping in the salad works line like. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> yeah. It's like a foot attack, dude. <laughs> so you have, does it subside if you stop foot. eating all the junk, dude? Like I've had like fish. Like fish is one of the triggers. What? Apparently, yeah. Like I've had, but it's also it always coincides with like a fucking summer long bender. Because hmm. gotcha. like if I've been drinking most days for a month, <laughs> and then I eat like fish and chips one night for dinner, it's just like the next day toe starts to hollow. Yeah. God damn! It so it's a life. It's, it's terminal. Yeah, and that's why my doctor didn't want to get me on pills. He was like, just fucking try to change your diet. <laughs> so I probably have a lot more shit wrong with me. Really? I'm just not willing why, to. Why are you censoring him? No, his doctor. Oh, just, just being like. You don't want to diagnose him. Like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to have gout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> basically. Yeah. She's she like, no, no, no. Because if, if you have gout, you have it forever. And so. it's on your health insurance and all that shit. I don't think that would. You don't think so? In our digital age of information? They you're gonna go well, get a I shouldn't be you talking have, about you life this. insurance. Scrub this. Is this live? <laughs> no, but we will keep it for matter of consistency. No, can you smash that computer, please? <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep it for matter of journalistic integrity. Um, no, it'll be fine. You'll get a life insurance policy. It'll be like fifty bucks more a month, and they'll give you probably like way less if you die. So <laughs> that's fine. Are you happy? No, I'm upset. I want gout now. What? I want the pills. I want gout the pills. You don't no, want the gal pills, I don't, dude. I don't. You got to take them forever. True. Mm. So, oh, just... dude, you can reverse it. My dad reversed type two diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> he just he was eating like a maniac. Does the news know about it? <laughs> You're talking. I read you loud and clear. You're talking about how the vaccines bullshit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Before I mean, we talk, I read you. I hear you. I thought diabetes. Before we went on, Del like, yeah. was like, dude, those guys in Australia are kicking the shit out of those cops, and I love it. <laughs> What were you saying then? Diabetes is is like you don't get rid of it. I thought type two, you can you have can, type two diabetes and then not have it. It's like you AIDS. You technically still have AIDS, but your like counts and all the labs come up like as if it you don't have it. You so have, and you can have whatever you want to eat essentially as long as you don't overdo it. No, you'll get right back to that's how you keep it at yeah. bay by not eating, you know, like a. Glutton. Yeah, type two Glutton. diabetes is is like a marriage. Like you'll probably have it for years, but you can kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you plan it right, you can get rid of it. Yeah, all you, right. it, it's creeped back up on him. He got same thing. 
You guys have the same exact thinking. He was like, my numbers are low, so now I can have ice cream again. Yeah, my foot doctor was hurt. just like, yeah, bro. Here comes his his triglycerides at one point were like, I think like quadruple what they were supposed to be. That yeah. sounds bad, but I don't know what it means. They're Me uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, damn, he, he had that many dinosaurs. Oof. Yeah, it wasn't looking good, dude. He was he was every day hitting like four like a link. Four soft pretzels together. He would get like a rack of soft pretzels, dong them in the car, and like every other day rip a milkshake on the way home and then eat dinner. <laughs> and that was like, and, it's, and that was like cheesesteak for lunch, 60 ounces of coffee that day. Oh my God. Imagine if the same Africans that cleaned his car cleaned your dad's car. <laughs> oh, milkshakes. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be good. Just like a calcified, like a fossilized shake. Pretzels don't seem like they would. Pretzels will give you diabetes. That's why you have gout. Yes, that's why you have gout. No, <laughs> absolutely give you. It's all well, sugar. It all make makes me a list after this of the <laughs> things I shouldn't eat. I'm glad you're better. So your foot. When's the last time your foot started to smart on you? Uh, <laughs> after you pigged out. This thing smart. After you unscrupulously pigged out. When was the last time your foot hurt? Last summer I had it bad. Really? Oh, dude, yeah. Because at the beginning of quarantine, I was oh, like, we all did. We all did, dude. I mean, oh. not even. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> We all pigged. Everyone pigged. Dude, but I drank equipment. like every night at, at home, fucking playing video games, just like drinking seven beers. Just getting hammered. Yeah. And then it caught up to me. And I was going on like, yeah, I, I was do going remember. like hiking the next week. And I was like, oh no. Oh. What terrible timing. Yeah. What'd you do? I kind I mean, I didn't drink. You just for camped a week. instead? Like, I'll just, let's camp. <laughs> it's not like. No, we did some, we did some hiking. Did you really on the gal foot? It like it cleared up. Like I, it's like fucking really? getting weed out of your system in a week. You know what I mean? I was just like, all right, I guess I'll yeah. have healthier food. And not seems drink. like your body really doesn't want gout. It's screaming at me. <laughs> it seems, every day. Like, it seems <laughs> like it's very preventable. If you saw what was in the toilet every day for me, you'd go to the <laughs> ER every day. Really? Were you going? You're loose, guys. I don't even want to get into it. Really loose. I know a man who's only had diarrhea for like a decade. Buddy, that ain't, that's the least of my worries. Really? <laughs> I'm the, uh, every day I'm like, did I drink blood last night? It's <laughs> one way to go, man. I, you know, I can appreciate that. That, I think, is just a hemi. Do you baby I'm your hoping. tootsies now <laughs> at all? No, no, no. I should get like pedicure and mm -hmm. like. True. I wear very supportive shoes now, though. Like I, when I first got it, I was wearing like. Uh, like Clark's desert boots at work. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're just not supportive. Also got them used at a thrift store. So maybe that guy. They sold you shoes at a thrift store? True. They were brand new though. Like nothing on the bottom. You really? know, you can tell a Clark's been worn once. True, yeah. Uh, but that dead guy probably gave me his gout is what I'm <laughs> right, realizing I would right say, now. I would say so. It probably came, it probably rubbed off and got in your shoe. Mm -hmm. There's a lot we don't know about medical technology. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go back <laughs> and ask you about that doctor. True. Now. Dude, what, so did she eat her words and say that, uh, sorry to kind of turn you down? Uh, no, I have not gone back to her. It's send her, the, five send her years. this podcast when it's done. <laughs> True. Let's email it to her. I think she also went to like holistic medicine or something. So she, she wasn't trying to give me pills anyway. Really? It was also very tough to get an Adderall prescription from her in college. <laughs> <laughs> in my fifth year of college, right before I studied abroad. <laughs> I was like, look, I'm going to be drinking till 2 a.m. every morning. I get 8 a.m.s every day. <laughs> Make with the fucking time release. Like I just, oh, I, ADD just kicked in. <laughs> Adult ADD is a real is a real thing. So yeah, you shouldn't I, I make jokes you. about adult ADD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John. You shouldn't make jokes about John, adult that's ADD. Out. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Imagine you're an adult and you're at somewhere. You're at night class, dude, and you just can't pay attention. You're in twenty fifth grade. <laughs> Imagine, dude. You're at the ITT Technical <laughs> Institute and you just can't focus. That's fucking hell, and you're laughing. You're laughing at these adults. <laughs> You're at the Chubb Institute, dude. You're fucking <laughs> weeks away. <laughs> is that real? Yes. It's the Chubb Institute. Yeah, dude. Just, All right. Well, that's where I'm going for grad school. <laughs> what can I be there? What well, can you be there? Yeah, like can, an auto tech, probably. Auto tech. That'd be uh, good. Fat nurse. A fat nurse. <laughs> they got it all, dude. Like a fat nurse. <laughs> You'd be a good fat nurse. I would definitely be a fat nurse. If I can be a fat nurse that can fix his own motorcycle, that would be fucking <laughs> sick. Dude, you'd be a great nurse. Thank you. I'm telling you. I think <laughs> for real. What do you know? I don't be, take that. Out, yeah. It's not. No. I'm telling you. That's not. I don't think that's an insult at all. You would be make like a. You'd be one of those nurses. I'd be like, this guy's probably one of those like doctor nurses. They have doctor nurses, nurse practitioners. <laughs> That's what my doctor was, a nurse practitioner. 
she probably didn't want she probably saw you coming and was like oh no 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 <laughs> dude you could make a stellar nurse practitioner it's basically a doctor thank you it's a doctor yeah. who's just who around. doesn't get paid as much <laughs> true but uh, maybe he was not in as much debt as well actually that is true as well yeah yeah i don't think you you're as much debt. Like i don't know anything that i'm dollars. saying but <laughs> you know, i think you're in slightly I less debt right. and you're surrounded by more babes oh wow. yeah. like the dude nurse school <sighs> nurse school sleeping yeah. on campus yeah dude that must oh, yeah, be yeah, yeah they do have that's nurse programs at regular colleges yeah man and it's not like i went to school for social work that's that's a bad batch those are a bunch of rotten apples dude just mean fucking political activists were yeah, they like some younger party than nurses you? majority of them were younger than me but Graduate i was definitely age. probably faster than all of them john so <laughs> physically a bunch of fat girls and scrubs 24 7 dude God. you would fucking You'd be in hog hey, head dude i mean that is the neighborhood I live in, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can just walk to the fucking beer store at any time and see that. Oh, it's a nasty nurse getting off. Yeah, a lot of nasty nurses, a lot of the nasty nurses get off and then go night shift and go right to brunch and like drink mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> and they shuffle home in their fucking pajamas. nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love a good fat nurse, dude. Imagine a bitch in a Jack Skellington shirt telling you to walk. <laughs> You can get up, do it. <laughs> I've got all day. So she started her. I might go. What's her? Do you have her info? I might go to her holistic practice. No, apparently she's, she's back in the regular doctor's office. So she, she 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 went off the medical grid and then bailed on that. I think she just didn't want to see you anymore. <laughs> I, think, I think she just ditched you. She can't make up her fucking mind. How am I gonna get gout pills from her? Fair enough. I dude, I had a therapist ghost me. So don't. Uh, oh don't no. Do that. I, I didn't like you we were her. We met twice, and then it was just kind of. I showed up the next day, and some lady was there, and I'm like, "Who are you?" She's like, "I'm a new therapist." The lady didn't tell you. I was like, "No." She changed offices. I was happy she did. I didn't like the lady. Did you ever like send her an email? A <laughs> diabetic veteran. True that. <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> diabetic vet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're a fucking man in the sugar fields in Nam. Okay, oh, get out of here. <laughs> my life in the, in the well, let's talk about this breakup, bro. Yo. You seem pretty broken up, dude. Yeah, you seem different, dude. Yeah, you I'm not pretty, different, dude. You seem pretty broken up. No, dude, I'm okay. It's never gonna come back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Over, relax, dude. It's Just never relax. coming back. Yeah. Who's the new girl? Who are you looking at? There's now? no new girl. No, but dude. do you want a new girl? Who? You, what type? I know you said Indian. Let's. let's There's no names. No names. No names. Just pussy. That's what I get. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get some pills. Yeah. Hey. Playboy, dude. I'm trying, trying to get some milk and pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get some cuddles, dude. I need some fucking. Yeah, you're a big guy. It'd be nice to cuddle with you. Try and Girls are like lady. cuddling with me. <laughs> yeah. Not until yeah. he fucking turns around and breaks your goddamn heart, dude. Yeah, a bit of a heartbreaker. <laughs> you gotta leave. I gotta get up. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's the heartbreak right there. You gotta leave. I gotta get up. It's a heartbreak hotel, dude. Yeah, baby, it's 2 p.m. <laughs> 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 I gotta get up. I gotta go watch Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then go to an open mic and bully losers. Dude, I don't do that, dude. Yeah, you do. I nah, see you dude. out there. I'm no I bully. I'm no bully, dude. <laughs> Speak. There's no bully. No bully. <laughs> He's a good guy. Oh, There's no bullies. There probably should be more bullies. There's no bullies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There should be more bullies. Sonya's a bully. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. He's a bit of a bully. <laughs> yeah. That's fun to yeah. hear. Yeah. You yeah. guys got to get the bees back out there. <laughs> yeah. True. He's still out every Bees have come down and cracked skulls. <laughs> bees have been, still does bees sometimes. been floating yeah. around. Yeah. yeah, I saw him last weekend. Yeah. After nice. we hung out. Yeah. Bees is doing stand up tonight on my show. Nice. Speaking oh, of devil, yeah. Kyle's texting me. Oh, nice. Oh, dude. I got the <laughs> ultimate DOS. And I don't know if this is true or not. Someone told me they used to hang out with Kyle's brother, and his nickname is Leche Sweet. <laughs> Leche sweet, dude. Sweet milk. Because he would end conversations rather than saying bye, he would go, sweet. <laughs> sweet. Wow. Like, and Leche, once he said something about like big boobs and milk. And leche, Milkers. And, yeah, and they call him Leche sweet. Necesitamos leche. And he'd be like this, Mama. Right, guys, sweet. And he would leave. <laughs> that's that's, tight. A, sick, that's, that's a, a fucking great nickname. Sickest nickname. Leche sweet. sweet. Leche. Leche, leche, leche sweet. sweet. It's the sickest fucking nickname ever. Mm. What would your mm. name, if you had a high school if nickname based off of when you were talking about big titties and like the last thing and the thing you would say like as your salutation, what would you what would your name? Probably be? Sweet Tooth. <laughs> Call me Sweet Tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw on the ground today. I saw six gummy burgers. 
Somebody <laughs> dropped. Somebody dropped oh. six gummy burgers in the wrappers. Yes, all in the wrappers. Oh. They're so good. <laughs> There's still, dude, sick. And they were like, literally. I thought someone was trying to trap me. <laughs> they were, they were, there was like a trip. One, then like two. Then up a driveway, like two more. Oh, that was a trap. I think it was a trap, bro. That was a trap. Six packaged gummy bears. Trying burgers. to catch a young Lemare. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, what would you do if you ran into those gummy burgers? Like, what? Six packaged gummy burgers. I would have walked right up to the driveway. Yeah. I would have followed You would have been like in the... a net. I'm like, hey. That was a scene they didn't show from Get Out, dude. Just a gummy burger. Yeah. <laughs> Just Krabby Patties. <laughs> gummy Krabby Patties in the street. Those are so good, dude. I like oh gummy treats. God. Oh yeah, I've been back on. I've been back on my bullshit. You, with, you're off of keto. I well, man, <laughs> been off keto. <laughs> keto is a two day experience. <laughs> That's true. I, I do. I run keto until I drop eight pounds in one day. Nice. And then have diarrhea the next day. <laughs> and then I'm back on my bullshit. I'm like, all right, mission accomplished. Oh yeah, you were you were uh, gastrointestinally challenged. I was. You put the hex on me. I'm sorry for. I that. had diarrhea of constipation myself. <laughs> it might have been the Omicron, bro. It might. It could have been Omicrons. It could have been. Oh, I was back on sweet treats. Ah, uh, yes. I haven't had. I usually don't eat sweet treats, but my mom and dad had a Christmas party, so there was copious sweet treats. Oh, sweet treats can lead to some. You're talking shits. gummy burgers. I'm talking gummy the, worms. Sour no gummies. Colors. We're not talking uh, numbies. Man, <laughs> what do you think? I'm a fool. Of course, I know you're kidding. We had Tommy made us cheesecake. Ooh. Tommy's an exceptional cook. It was yes. some of the finest cheesecake I've ever had. Yep. And I'm not much of a cheesecake guy. But when it's done right, I mean, mamma mia. <laughs> True. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> some peanut butter chocolate cake from La Costa Vida. Mm. The Wops. Mm-mm. We had to hire the Wops to come in and make us <laughs> sausage peppers and uh, beef stroganoff. I had beef stroganoff. <laughs> Dude, what is I beef stroganoff? It's just beef and egg noodles. Sweat. That's awesome. It was the best. I I literally had beef stroganoff six straight meals. Do you think the first breakfast, lunch, and dinner stroganoff? <sighs> that's yeah, that liquid was definitely dye. what happened to my stomach. Yeah, that's liquid. My dye. stomach got fucked up. Brittany used to make tetrazzini, and I would eat that for like three days straight. It's the same thing. It's yeah, just your stomach just like all right, let's let's try this again. Shane, did you ever think when the first Gillis like touched down on Ellis Island that his like Irish kin will be being fed by some wops? Oh yeah, we <laughs> dreamed it. We dreamt of this. <laughs> yeah, someday, someday, dude. someday we're all going to be sitting around being fed by wops, <laughs> and that is the goal. That's yeah. everybody's goal. That's true. Absolutely, hmm. <laughs> got to keep them busy in the kitchen. Otherwise, they get bad. <laughs> otherwise, ideas. they get terrible ideas. They get bad. I ideas. watched Casini. <laughs> keep them away from the last time you saw bro? Casino. I haven't seen it in a while. The bad wops, dude. Bad wops and Jews. The Jews and the wops link up. That does go to my original theory that Italians are just dumb Jews. <laughs> Casino is the perfect representation. They're both. Sure. So there's a wop and then there's a Jew. And the Jew's like, we got to chill. Be careful. Here's how we're making all the money. And the wop's like, I'm just going to hit everybody in the head. <laughs> and he's like, no, don't do that. You're going to fuck up the money. And like, you don't tell me what to do. I'm going to hit everyone in the I'm head. The boss. Yeah. So the wop eventually ruins it. And I don't know if you remember, the WAP and his brother get beat to death by other WAPs. Yeah, that's... With baseball bats in front of each other. Good classic pride. Did you ever see the movie, is it Gamora, that movie about Italy? Yeah. That's just WAPs backstabbing each other <laughs> for like two hours straight. It's like... They're jerks. Hey, I finally got... And then some guy's like, yeah. And he's yeah. like, oh, my brother, how good are you? And then it's like, I'm the big guy now. And the cousin's like, yeah. I'm like, oh. That's it. Every time. <laughs> I thought you were loyal. <laughs> Loyalty's important. <laughs> Is there a mob movie that doesn't end like that? Mm. You'll be Scarface. nice to make a happy ending mob movie. Oh, he's not. Scarface is Cuban and he does get shot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, After dude. killing his best friend. Scarface gets shot 10 toes down in the front, dude. What? He's like 10 toes fucking standing tall when he gets killed. Yeah, but he gets killed. Yeah. And he's high on, he's a drug addict. Yeah. I'm so mad that you said that he gets shot 10 toes. <laughs> yeah, is that what you learned? What? Dude, that's Playboy talk. <laughs> I hate I hate this new lament. 10 toes down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was selling drugs, cocaine, and murdering people. And he Lamar. murdered his guy was a jerk. sister's love. And mm-hmm. doesn't, he, doesn't he kill his sister there at the end? Mm. Uh, he kills everybody. Does he kill her or just... No, she lives. No, I thought she got killed as well. Yeah, how does she die? think by the fbi she tried to kill him at one point yes i love you so much he kind of wanted to fuck his sister which by the way that's makes sense that is a very 
common WAP theme. Although this was that's that was just Al Pacino, his WAP coming out. <laughs> he probably in demanded like, that. Can being you please a stop trying to fuck your sister. That's not part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but she has a small mule. <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> like, nobody else should love her but me. He's like, no, no, no. The script's all wrong. Uh, yeah, we got. I hate the sister's beautiful. <laughs> she was hot as fucking that. You remember his sister in Scarface? Yeah, man. I hope she wasn't too young. Now that I'm thinking back, I haven't seen it in a while. I bet she was a young lady in that. I bet she was a young woman in that f- feature film. If uh, if your sister was hot, would you keep your bloodline strong? No, no. What the hell? I don't I have, have sex a, with my uh, sister, dude. I don't know, dude. What if she's fucking like crazy hot? No, no, no. You wouldn't. If no. you had a sister, you'd understand. That's. Uh, I don't have a sister. Yeah, I'm sorry, no. dude. I'm sorry. Want, you wouldn't have sex with your sister. All right. You gotta, you gotta stop the pornography, bro. Huh? I do. I'm telling you, and I'm. Not, this isn't me being like, huh? oh, I don't watch porn or anything. I I just. I can't watch it anymore. Yeah. It, it's too ridiculous. Yeah. I watched it today. It's too fucking ridiculous, It bro. was great. I turned it off. <laughs> it was a nice Chechen porn. Really? Nice Chechen prostitute. Goes into a van. The boys pay her. She has fun. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem here? This this was just a... Uh, it was like an arched... I, I guess there's a subgenre of arched backs. So like yeah. chicks and dogs style arching their backs. Yeah. yeah. But the whole time the dude That's was, cool as hell. Yeah, dude, but it's like once it's, when it's presented as like that's the specific thing. I, I don't know. I did, that was like whatever, but the, it was like a forty-five-year-old dude just fucking like. Huh, huh, and I was like, yeah, ah, it's fucking, yeah, that's no good. I can't see this guy like actively enjoying himself. Yeah, just being like, Ugh. and he was like, it was weird, dude. He's flexing a little. He was like tanned. Yeah, like when male porn stars take too good of care of themselves, it kind of fucks <laughs> me up. It's just kind of like. Dude, this not this isn't about you at all. Yeah, get out of here. But I do want to see you rail the shit out of this lady. Yeah, like so. I'd like to see you in some type of <laughs> just something, bro. Yeah, but it, this he was trying to steal a scene, and it was like the whole thing was like this is too ridiculous. I, I don't know. I get I get just kind of like ugh. There's nothing wrong with that. It's too much for me. There's nothing wrong with porn. Oh. Porn's bad. You are right it's, it's about it. It's getting it's getting weirder. Or I'm I just have getting, fun watching it. That's why I, I want to, dude. I want to have fun. I'm I like, don't. I mean, I don't like sit down and look at it. But I, yeah. if I have five minutes, I'll fire one off. Go it's about all my business. Pure maintenance, bro. It's pure. Yeah. I was getting the fucking. I was getting like cum cramps. Sure. <laughs> right on like my right side, and I was like, I just got to get this out of me before I start my day. But no, now that I have a lady, I like to save it up for. Mm-hmm. Save up my seed two, mm-hmm. three days. It's the best. No fap, and then you hit it. Then you enjoy sex with her. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like a fucking monotonous, mm-hmm. hellish chore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> just kidding. She listens to this. <laughs> She's gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, gonna you, you got to save it up. But sometimes you save it up, and then it's just for whatever reason. Say your wife's pregnant or whatever, you miss. It's just not happening, and it could be like a week yeah, or but so. But then you get to whack off after a save up, which is such a victory. That's what you do. Mm. Yes, but I'm telling you, for me, and that's fun, dude. They're just they're they are fun, but they become if if you save up too much, it's almost pleasureless. You're literally just kind of being like, Ugh. you just get it out of yourself. Oh, that's just crazy. But it's not bad. I mean, it was, I, I'll go a couple of days without realizing it, and then on the, like the third day, I'll be like, oh, nice. No, dude, I how? get to have a sweet treat today. I get to explode salmon. Mine's <laughs> mine's now expanded now. I get to, to like, fucking explode. That's and seven. Launch. That's seven days for me now. Yeah. Really? I hold it in for like seven days and me showering and being like, ah, really? You Goddamn! I get, you get like a yeah. You're holding yeah. all your cup, dude. I'm used to fucking fire. There's them a off. crick in my head. My body's not used to all this goddamn cum. So my body's kind of like, what the hell's going on over here? Yeah. I've been trying to retain it just because of the omicron, bro. I want to retain all my vitamins and stuff. That's true. So, omicron can't be. Come, dude. If you store all your cum up, dude, there's no way. I actually thought about that. I've been getting a lot of mucus, and I'm like, is my cum turning into mucus and it's coming out of my nose? <laughs> it's this is pretty cum like. Yeah. Mucus is very or cum's very mucus. Cum is a mucus, of course. Yeah, it is. It's a you know, it's a mucus membrane. Viscous. It's very viscous, dude. Right. If someone, yeah, but if someone cummed into a sink, you'd know they didn't hawk a luger. <laughs> Maybe. Huh? It would be in the sink. Yeah, you get the water slugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. slugs. yeah, come is like the Navy SEALs of like the viscous. And it needs to be hydrophilia. It needs, or no, yes. phobic, actually. It's like. <laughs> dude, how about that? How about that? Shout out to whoever sent us Very faithful listener, that. dude. Sent us a, a shirt signed by the guy who slayed Bin Laden. Apparently, this is an autographed shirt. Autographed military Apparently shirt. Apparently it's autographed by autographed the guy who killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> the he operator. looks over us. The operator, bro. He's a smooth operator. The operator. Let me tell you something. Recently, actually, yeah, he got uh, kicked off. Delta. Uh, apparently removed from Delta. <laughs> took, I looked up. The, I was like, who is this guy? I looked him up. He, he took a picture of his face without a mask on Delta being like, I'm not a pussy. And Delta fucking <laughs> kicked him off. Delta said, get the hell Delta out of barred here. him from flying. Also, dude, yeah. I got another interesting factoid today as well. 
I was looking up. Remember the guy from the St. Lunatics who has the um, yeah the flip? Murph, Murphy Lee. It's not Murphy Lee, dude. I thought it was Murphy uh, Lee too. It's uh, do you know? Don't tell me. I, it's a little flip. It's not a little flip. It's not a little no, flip. No, it's, no. Chingy, it's in the dude. St. Lunatics. You're right. <laughs> You're not gonna guess it. Yes. I, I thought it was Murphy. I am Lee. gonna get it. You're not I used gonna to love this guy, dude. Ooh. He used to have fucking silly string. <laughs> he's, 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 he's got a wild do name. You know his name? Yes, Mark. I do. Hold on, tell the story about him. I'll think on his name. Okay, so apparently, apparently, so he's pissed, dude. He didn't get Murph, cut it. It's not, not Murphy. Hold on. He didn't get cut in on the pie. I'll read. I'll read the uh, do the quote from his fucking thing. It's so funny. So basically, what, what's up? You found it. Yeah, dude. It, so, damn, I, I can't find the article I had. What is it? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, I would have never got that. Slow down. It's City Spud. It's Slow Down, bro. Slow Down. With the half mask? With the half mask. With the Phantom of the Opera. And the Silly Spring? Silly Spring? No, it is Slow Down. It's Slow, slow down, down, bro. Slow Down. Slow Down. Okay. Yeah, man. That's him. Yeah. Slow Down. <laughs> Dude, this is... So someone asked him, like, yo, so, like, how did that whole thing play out? This is the response. I might fuck around and get emotional, talk, emotional talking about uh, how all the money was getting split up. <laughs> Shit was crazy. Motherfuckers was eating, and I wasn't one of them. I was snacking. <laughs> That's great. I, I was lunching, having lunch you every won't. now and then. <laughs> Motherfuckers was having four course meals, and I didn't have shit to do with shit. City spoiled. Damn. Dude, so they go on to the article, and he's like, "Yeah, I didn't rap. Yeah, yeah, I didn't make any of the music, but I was absolutely indispensable to the hype I provided. He dude, was just a hype man, dude. He's one of the most memorable <laughs> thing about the Saint Louis." <laughs> He got no money. He was a fan of the Black Opera. He was. He was. <laughs> he really was. Yeah. He he, uh, he got apparently he never was, got slowed down. He was just snack. They, they were Slow eating, down. bro. He was snacking. Imagine yeah. how pissed you'd be if you're just snacking while everyone's yeah. eating. Four course meals. You're eating lunch, dude. I was eating four course. You meals. gotta think about the Saint Lunatics. <laughs> Nelly's the head right there, dude. So when they would do a gig, Nelly would take half. <laughs> and he'd give the other half to the rest of the lunatics. Yeah. To the Saint Lunatics. And then the Saint That's Lunatics. actually pretty <clears throat> fair. Very fair. It's generous. And then it the was, Saint Lunatics yeah. would go to slow down and be like, here's like fifty bucks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Slow down with piss, bro. Imagine snacking, dude. I'm yeah. so good with them cooking some McDonald's. That was me doing slow down. It's it's crazy, man. Down. Normally you're on top of your game. This is this man, is dude. wild. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm fucking, I don't know, dude. Swing batter, batter, swing batter, batter, swing batter up. Yeah, I'm the first to swing with that home run. Hit me with your god thing. Hot mm -hmm. wing, fuck a duck. Maybe not because I got some swing batter, batter. Huh? That's, That's Murphy Lee, bro. Is it, is it? Murphy Lee. Was it Murphy Lee first to up up front? Shake your tail feather was Murphy Lee as well. Oh, I th I think that's I think that was Murphy Lee. I think he was first at batter, or that you might have been Same doing his first. Pretty cool. Shake tail. They ruled, bro. How are you guys about D twelve? I used to like D twelve. That yeah. failed hard. That was. Yeah, it did fail. Yeah. That fell pretty <laughs> hard. They were tight. Purple Hills. Purple Hills purple. was awesome. That was tight. And yeah, that was like it. Fight Fight music. Music. There was that one My fat band. guy. My band. Bizarre. Bizarre, Bizarre was the only one to kind of. No, what's his name? Proof. Uh, proof, yeah. proof was good. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Then he he's True. deceased. Well, we've reached that part of the show. We talk about where I think it's dead done. rappers. Yeah. Where the show is reached. Where are we at? 104? Final conclusion. Woo. It's pretty good, man. Oh. That's not. Also, speaking of St. Louis, you guys can catch me there. January, oh, yeah. January 7th and 8th. Look at that, That's why man. I was looking up St. Louis facts. January 7th and 8th. St. Louis facts. Helium.com. Are you going to go to the arch? Yeah, I'm going to go to the fucking arch. <laughs> are you kidding me? You'd be surprised. Yeah. I've been there twice. Never went to the arch. I don't leave. I don't really leave. I don't Actually, go that I far. I went there once. <clears throat> But yeah, I'll be go to Helium. Go to my Instagram. There's like, yeah, stuff. Click the tickets. Man. Go to Matt's show in St. Louis, or or <laughs> on New Year's if you live in California, come to the Irvine Improv and celebrate the New Year with me. Ring it in. That'd be nice. You know how many more do we have left? Yeah, this could be it. Someone was asking yeah, about Northern like California. Can... They're asking yeah. if you're going to Northern Cali. I don't fuck with no no cow, dude. Yeah. No, I, I was just there. I was open with Louis. I did shows. Yep. Then, January 6th, 7th, and 8th in the Big Apple. Caroline's on Broadway. Come to that. That'll be big. That's going to sell out. So hurry That'll up. Buy tickets for that if you can. 6th, 7th, and 8th. Caroline's on Broadway. And then the 13th, 14th, and 15th of January, come to Tacoma, Washington. The Tacoma Comedy Club. Lemaire, Dude. what do you got? Oh, fucking uh, City Winery. At, uh, oh, nice. January 26th. Come to that show. Me they and you do a Santa day before my birthday, bro? 
Yeah. It's kind of jacked up. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, well. <laughs> it was just my birthday. You didn't even say happy birthday, dude. Dude, I fucking said it fuck? the very next day. What the fuck? I always think your birthday is in November for some reason. Have we done a podcast since my birthday? Yeah, we did it. We did? That's probably why I was struck down with melancholy so hard. To be fair, Every I time it's your birthday, you feel like I sent crap. you. Yeah, it sucks, bro. It sucks. Say, damn, dude, I'm 34. I look. I, I sent you a text that morning at like 6:30. Yeah, so basically, same day. No, I don't look great, Lamar. Thanks Good though. Shame. You're just horny as shit. <laughs> you look great for 34. Shut the fuck up, man. You trying to make fun? So you're 34. I'm not making fun, dude. Yeah, I'm 34 years old. Nice. That's what's up. 34 that's, is tight. That's the year, dude. This All is. the pieces connect. 33 was tight. 34 is going to be tight as shit. Oh, yeah. Wait till 36, dude. 36 is... That's dying time. That's awesome. That's when I'm getting towards the end of my rope. Oh, yeah. The world's in your hands. That's when I got to make some changes lifestyle-wise. Senior citizen, yeah. Yeah. Absolute senior (laughs) citizen. All right. Let's go to Helium and do stand-up together, guys. It'll be fun. Thanks. Order that. Greeting Earthlings, we have now taken over your radio. Wet myself. <laughs> oh, he the Wild Wild West. That's, that's my that's that's my big sis. That's a big sis? Big sis that's laying, the best, laying it dude. down. What's better than your big sis hitting you up? Nothing. I wish I had a big sis. I just got these big brothers, dude. Mm-hmm. Brothers suck. Big sisters would be Although having brutal. older brothers are nice. Especially a brother like Tom, who's who's a bit of an entrepreneur. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, how yeah. nice am I at sliding into ads now? Dude, you might be I'm a the seasoned best. pro. I'm You're Billy Mays. Draper. I'm Billy Mays, dude. True. You are. I'm going to die. Billy Mays. What did he die from? Probably. Killed himself. He killed himself? <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> he sawed a boat in half, dude, and he sunk. Didn't he have some shit, though, going on? Like, he had some dark shit going on with him, I think he? Billy Mays. We're here live with the Beezer. Are we going? Yeah, the yeah, big Beezy. Live, oh, all right. Take yep. it east. The big bees, dude. The big bees. Good to see you guys, down. man. We're in the bees nest. From You Fucked It podcast. Give it a listen. It's very funny. Brian Hell Six, yeah. a.k.a. The Bees, man. What's up? And Ryan Shaner, a.k.a. Just pretty much that. Yeah. He doesn't have a nickname, does he? doesn't he? have a cool nickname. No. Nightmare. He's got a last name. Nightmare? Shane. We are, yeah. I think he's the Nightmare. He's the That's Nightmare, a good one. dude. Nightmare. nightmare. Not even the Nightmare. Just Nightmare, nightmare dude. Shaner, a.k.a. Nightmare. <laughs> nightmare and the Bees, dude. <laughs> nightmare and Bees. <laughs> nightmare, dude. He's he's a spooky, dude. I know. He'll take you on a spooky journey. He will. <laughs> Every job for a comedian is taking you on spooky journeys. And the nightmare, nightmare will take you there. And then he'll show you spooky paintings. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare might be the nickname. I haven't dude. put down this Spalding since I heard about the fucking challenge, dude. That's uh, the first time. Dude. We're playing LOS, bro. Oh, it got brought up last night. I was yeah, on. I did Legion of Skanks last night. And they brought up. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I was like, here's. I was like, explain this to me. So. Jay's like, yeah, dude, me, Lewis, Dave against McCusker, Shane, Tommy. And I was like, Tommy Pope? And he goes, yeah, I was like, eh. And they're like, what, what? I know, I Tommy's like, a wild card, dude. He's Tommy, a total well, wild I'm card. not sure. I know he did play. There's a part of me that's afraid he's horse feeding. Tom can be a feeder, but every time he feeds, like one time I heard him, he was like, I'm fucking great at golf. And I was sitting there like, dude, I've lived with you for two years. You've never gone golfing once. I can you see can't him being be good. Nasty. Then he does that show with Tyler Rothrock. He looked good on that. Bombing it, dude. Yeah, I could see him being nasty. He's golf. nasty. When we did, when they filmed Delco proper, he was just jacking home runs. That was was the sport baseball. Yeah, his sport was, his was baseball. He was but he very played good. basketball. I think he played ba- basketball. I was afraid of a horse feed. I asked him last night. He, he confirmed he played four years of high school basketball. Why hmm. he played high school basketball? That's, That's what good. I was told, dude. That's D one talent among feed. comedians. Yes. <laughs> you should have seen me today. I told you already. I, mean, I heard, yeah. Wait, did I tell you? Yeah, you, t- you Did I say it on the, the Patreon? I don't remember. I mean, it all bleeds power, together, bro. The horsepower was felt. Big J got a taste of the horsepower. Who was flying today? 
uh, Tom. Tom from <laughs> Gas yeah. Digital. Admiral Akbar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically the Gas Digital staff. Yeah. And bartender from the stand who bought out um, Dave Temple. It was fun. It was fun, dude. It was nice to go play basketball. I was so delighted it's my legs best. didn't fall apart. True. Like, thank God I've been doing box step ups. Dude, they felt it. They felt the power. I mean, once these. Come on, dude. God damn, dude. Please take a look at that. Is that, is that, is that grab that. Is grab that powerful? thing, dude. Go ahead. Feel it. Dude, like, that's, dude, that's oh, Christmas dinner. <laughs> it just was just a pure fun. That's that looked Christmas like a my dinner. Pillow, dude. No, that's Christmas dinner right there, dude. That is. That's mashed taters. Put that out of the table. My family would tear that up, Oh, dude. they wouldn't know what to do with all these. <laughs> Mashed taties. No, that's a fucking ham. Right, pour ham, some bro. gravy on it. Oh, that's, you think it's an Easter ham? That's an Easter ham. <laughs> I might be the Easter ham, dude. That's a powerful thigh. All joking aside, that's a powerful thigh, and that kind of stuff's going to win this game, dude. Conditioning, I'm, dedication, discipline, fundamentals. I cannot wait, dude. Are you out there? Are you hitting yeah, the courts? Bro. Yeah. I'm going to be hitting uh, 100 jump shots every I hit, day. I hit Beezer. the courts today. That's, I like it. Swish. That's right there. Elbow in. Elbows Elbow in's in the, tough. Elbows in here. That's crazy, bro. I'm like the, what's the game with, who's the guy? Like Ray Allen. Ray Allen, yeah. And they gave the video or the movie about him. <laughs> he got game. Shit, dude. You need some food, dude. Need some food. You need some podcast and fuel. I'm hungry. Now. I couldn't get any fuel. We're okay, here yeah, joined yeah. today yeah. with our special guest, Brian the Bees. Yes. Six. Bees. Be I, I have been missing you. Dude. I know, man. I, I, I was so you, pumped Bees. to see it. I didn't even I know, know you were in town. I had a wild night at Helium. <laughs> <laughs> Little too wild? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> when but, was this? Wednesday night after the 76ers basketball game. I had to go check out Embiid to style my game. Ooh, and then true. I and then I went back to Helium and had Trust fun. Trust the process. Then we had fun. What was the show? What show was it? There was no show. Well, there it was, was a, a secret show. headliner show, but we it was but over. Me by and Ron were, we're looking for a secret? fun after party. Is yeah. it still a secret? Yeah, I don't Can even know who it was. It's a secret to the, to the audience now. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knew him. <laughs> uh, I don't know who it was. And it was, uh, dude, we go to the game. We were kind of teetering on fl floor seats. Gotcha. So the the way the 76ers do it is they have like a VIP. They have like your concierge, dude. Sure. Your VIP concierge. Mm -hmm. And he hooks you up and he's like, yeah, come through. They all, I think there's like s VIP, like they work there and try to get guests to come to the game. Gotcha. So Roan had the hookup. Mm -hmm. One of the guys at the VIP thing liked Roan. He, he claimed he was one of my fans. Clearly he Wikipedia'd me. It was crazy. He hit me with like three Wikipedia facts. He was like, "Oh man, I love your new your new special live in Austin. So good. Also, you went to Westchester University. <laughs> what? How about that? I was like, dude, you Googled me. My Hold friends on. don't know I went to Westchester. So wait, they did they like poach you while you're at the game and try to get you to come into? This no, thing? we Roan had been in contact with this guy. Got you. And then we get there and they're like, ah, you can't. We're not. The floor seats are taken. We're gonna we have to get you guys a box. Dang. Which was great, but apparently, dude. I think they I think they Googled me and Barstool and they were like, You're not sitting floor, dude. Ooh. That's not I think the seventy sixers organization turned its back they on. They were me. like, No. That's why I'm a Ben Simmons fan. We got some food, bro. Answer the call. Hello, sir. Hello? I'm very sorry, ma'am. I'll be out there in a second. Love you. Bye. <laughs> What'd she say? What the fuck? Oh, man? look out, dude. Yo, look out. In his defense, that ball is flat as hell. Beezer, yes. What's going on with you? Nothing, man. It was a good night last night. Uh, What'd you get into last I night? I did a dab on Legion of Skanks. Oh, you hit a dab, <sighs> yo. Skank hands, bro, dude. Welcome to the God Show, dude. Lewis <sighs> must have done no joke. I, I'm probably yeah, dude, low ball. He did dabs. like ten or less. I was like, dude, I did one, and at one point, Cannon nudged me and goes. Six, you all right? I was like, yeah, dude. And then I looked at me, and he said something that I definitely didn't hear. Did your I was face like, go gray? I was like, what, dude? Did no, I was fine. Like, oh, I was just That's just the molly. Just rushed on me. Yeah, you ever see the bees hit the molly? When it when the molly dude, hits, I go his gray, face, dude. All the blood in his head disappears. Yeah, if it's good molly. He's like, dude. he'll walk into a room, you'll be like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm like, you guys party. <laughs> right. It's so, <laughs> yo, it's so fun. <laughs> dude, we might need to, we're going to have to take a munch break. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And break. Let's 
fucking um, go. We're back. We're live. We were talking about Apocalypse Now while we were munching. Were we? For a second, yeah. They added sex scenes in the deluxe version on Say Netflix. what? Some of the hotter the sex scenes. They, they strike a deal for gas with the chopper. He's like, you can fuck the girls. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I always get that mixed up with Apocalypto. I'm like, the Apocalypto sex scene would be nasty. That would be fun to Drops watch. Drops down, he's like... Yeah, get some pussy down the well. He's like, I'll be back. Is the park looked at the part where the movie where the part where they were just like running? Yeah, yeah. man, that's, that's Gibson, scene. dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, classic Gibson. That's what he does. Mm. Great director. Right now on the TV that you guys can't see, we have <clears throat> a live cam from around the world. It's a fun channel I look at sometimes on YouTube. Live streaming around the world. We're gonna turn it off because it's distracting me. Yeah, five hundred eighty-seven. We're just watching. Five hundred people were also watching around on the, the stream. World. Yeah, true ballers. Yeah, man. What's up, B? So we're we're back after the food. Wow, what a nice, delicious treat that place was. Delicious, bro. Yeah, it was awesome. What was the name of it? Hot peppers. Hot peppers in, in Queens, Astoria, bro. Yeah. So wow. the bees. Hmm. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. What's going on in your life? Same old, man. Yeah. Last night was fun. It was good. Came up and did uh did rap. <laughs> then did uh <laughs> I did was, uh what the fuck? What the heck was that? He's just joshing. Eh. He's just razzing them. Yeah. Thrap, whatever. But I did top nine What's with that? Tom Cassidy and Adele. Nice. They have a podcast. And it was funny because he, uh, he said, if, hey, if you're coming up, you could do it. I said, yeah. Who thinks of the top nine list? And he goes, uh, he goes, uh, you do. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, right before I left Philly to come up here, I, was, I texted Tommy and I was like, dude, I cannot think of like a top nine thing. Can you just tell me what else other people did? And he was like, what are you, some kind of retard? I was like, all right, there it Whoa. is. Top nine parent sayings because that cut deep. So yeah. I did a list on that. That's great. Yeah, it was really funny. What did you come up with? What were some of your answers? Uh, just the normals. Yank your head out of your ass. You know, the yeah. classics. I'll be watching you like a hawk. Not my turn to watch them. Yeah. What's your, what do you, what do you go with? What did your Paul hit you with? I'll give you something to cry about. Yep. Yeah, I'll give you something Classic. to cry about. I'll give you something to cry about. I mean, because I said is. Yep. That was that was the bane of my existence when yep. I was young. Maybe like, why can't I sleep at the Badowski's house? Because <laughs> I said, now get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you, Dad. <laughs> Everybody else's parents are cool. Dude, he was. We pulled up on uh, Gardini's house. Lamar was like Winnie the Pooh going into the fucking. <laughs> he went into Lamar's in search of soda. Dude, was he was, was in for he soda. Was, he was milling around no. the house, dude. I love, know, Mike, I love Sean's parents, dude. <laughs> oh, his really? parents, yeah. He's like we Winnie fed. the Pooh for high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Time for something sweet. <laughs> Did you find anything sweet? No, I didn't get anything. He got water. He has a bottle of water. Like, water oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, that's okay, dude. And I heard you you were whimpering on the ride when they said they weren't going to give you guys <laughs> no genuine draft. No, I would never, dude. I was yeah, just, one you know, single was tear rolled down the face <laughs> in the liquor store when we said, we don't really feel like drinking Miller genuine drafts at noon today. Dude. I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, now you're happy. Yeah, I mean, yep. yeah. So you're just sipping. Well, you're a working man now. You're driving. A, you're driving the silver, <laughs> yeah. not the Silverado, the Colorado. Yeah, Colorado, Colorado, dude. Yeah, you Colorado. Get a, I've never parts even heard of Colorado. Chevy, Colorado. It's like I'm a, a big Chevy guy. It's their Ford Ranger, but it's not. Yeah. It's better. It's a little uh, bit bigger, I think. Yeah. Nice. I've nice. I've had my eye on a Colorado for a while. Yeah, dude. Besides, nice. CRV is obviously my favorite car. Yeah. Next to that is a Ford Ranger or Colorado. Yeah. I love small. Damn, that thing's fucking sick, dude. That's what I wanted, dude. I wanted a small pickup. When I the drove, best. they gave me a fucking Silverado, and mm -hmm. I was scared, dude. Nah, that's a big, that's a big boy toy. I was scared. I'm not a big boy, dude. I need small <laughs> toys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I love. So my my trajectory, life I need trajectory, a nice Honda truck. You see CR those little guys? Yeah, yeah. they're nice. CRV, our Civic was my dream car. Got that back in 2008. Not mm -hmm. right. When dream I, I no, actually, it was a that was like more like 2014. It was a 2008 car. That was my dream car. Got to the CRV. Now I'm just in the stratosphere, like beyond my wildest <laughs> dreams. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to the Odyssey. That's me. I'll ret after I retire. The Odyssey's nice, bro. Mm -hmm. Dude, it is really nice. And then I want to get like a, I'll be pickup truck. It's moving stuff yeah. around. I can't even imagine the new Odyssey. Last time I saw one was bro. 2014. They're expensive, dude. They're like. Yeah, they're so expensive. Yeah, they're like, fuck, they're up around 40. You should get something. a pilot. Honda Pilot's sick. Oh, that's a, that's a big CRV. Is that one of them trucks? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought like the pilot that. was a minivan. It actually kind of looks pilot. like a crossover vehicle. They yeah. smoothed it out a little. It does kind of look more like a van. Yeah. yeah, what's Toyota has? Toyota has their thing that kind of looks... The Sequoia. The Sequoia. Yeah. Is kind Toyota of like, has a fucking ton. They have a lot of they? different types of cars. Honda yeah. was easy. Toyota maybe put, was tough. And maybe Toyota's put expensive, bro. If God blesses me, I'll put Bay in a pilot. I'll be in the <laughs> yeah. fucking Odyssey. Yeah. That's, I mean, at that point, dude. You're going to take the Odyssey. Oh, of course. 
Really? I want a minivan. Mm. I love minivans, mm-hmm. dude. Dude, in terms of fitting gear, you can fit gear in there. The seats fold down. You yeah. can put so much shit in there. You can watch a movie. They come fully loaded Bro, pretty you, much you all the time. You see how easy those Odyssey seats fold? Bro, I've, right I have not trunk. seen first. I've seen getting oh. in Ubers and stuff. Actually, CRV does it. They fold easy, yeah. yeah you can pull those so chairs much room, out, dude. too. You can pull the Odyssey yeah. chairs out. I had, a, I had a fully Chinese man come into the <laughs> dealership and just <laughs> made me do every Like, take the chairs out. Yeah, dude. I want to see how it works in the showroom. Oh. And I couldn't do one thing. Oh, he tested and you. And he was so angry. That might have been your teacher, dude. He gave you he a test. He was furious. And I was like, I don't care, dude. I'll quit. What? Yeah. He reported me. There, you know he that's a big that's a big part of the culture is passing the test. I failed, dude. If you watch like the anime, the old animes, Lemire, you're on the clock, dude. On is that pot? Hmm? He's pot. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a dude. I've noticed that when I got a, when I got into like anime, <laughs> I would never. I had dude. a brief stint of anime. That's a common theme of failing the test. <laughs> what, what, oh yeah, the test. There's always the test. If you're yeah. if you're a partner, the test looms over, <laughs> yeah. looms over your head. Fuck. Yeah. The yeah. test, and you just get a huge bead of sweat, and you go. You have to pass the test. What types of tests are we talking here? Dude, the real test total is, aptitude tests. The real test is real. actually trying the test, though. What? It's always actually trying the test is the real test. Speak you know? more. Let's talk like more about in this. anime, you, they're like, we want you to fucking go get- You know what I'm talking these, about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a test, dude. Yeah. It, it looms over their heads. All the time. The test like, is on is all is coming. <laughs> you gotta worry about the test, dude. Especially <laughs> if you're a Japanese kid. Yes. Dude, you gotta worry about the test. The they test do. is coming. Yeah, the yeah. guy gave you the test. He probably was like, Why is this guy not been working his whole life for the test? Yeah, I was not I was not prepared. <laughs> dude. I couldn't take the chairs out. It was so fucking hard to take those fucking bucket seats out. They were ninety five they were they were they were a hundred fucking fifty pound chairs. Was I was like a, I I had a beat of sweat. I remember I was sweating. <laughs> I was wearing fucking tucked in polo and the khakis. My ass was sweating. Some fucking Chinese guy was yelling at me to not be able to. I was like, dude, just please st- st- don't tell on me. Oh, Because the manager just already knew I didn't care. Yeah. Let, like, and I pretended to know things. Did you try to pull the seats out first or did you fold them all the way down? I, fo- I showed him how to fold the back row. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. he was like, did these come out? You notice how I didn't do an accent? Yeah, <laughs> I learned from that yeah, SNL true sketch. Yeah, he would be funny to impersonate Chinese. But are these chairs come out of here? He said, "Hey, partner, <laughs> hey, are these damn chairs come out of there or what?" You know, Chinese guys be like, "These goddamn chairs moving out." Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> so they did macho not man, come out, dude. Do a I, macho man. I couldn't even. I want to see them. these chairs come out of here. I would unlock. <laughs> I would unlock like the front and just try to rip, dude. Yeah. It was you terrible. failed the test, partner. I failed the test. He left. He went to a different dealership. Did he? Because that guy probably disassembled it like a fucking M1, like a yeah, gump. Done. <laughs> yeah, dude. They need to get all their stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a thousand small boxes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny boxes. Yeah. What do they do with those boxes? Merchandise, dude. Mm. What type of merch? That's the merchandise. Mm. What type of merch? Like fucking cell phone covers and shit. Yeah. Mm. I almost worked for one of the bros at a cell phone place. Yeah. He gave me the lowdown. He was like, dude, these things cost us like 10 cents. Yeah. And we sell them for $30. Dude. He's From like, China, do you right? want to work for us or not? I was like, yes, and I, I think I missed that. I think I missed my first day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I was like, I don't want to walk all the way to 30 Street Station. Yeah, you don't want to be a kiosk guy. I was a kiosk guy before. Scoop these nuts, or scoop to nuts. That was, a candy, nuts. that was a candy stand. <laughs> yeah. How long how long did you go to the kiosk? That was that was lucrative for me. That's when I really? was stealing from the register heavily. <laughs> that was, I, I was grounded for drinking for a month, so I was just locked down Who anyway, so I secured you? the job. My My parents. Oh, okay. Thirty days, thirty day suspension. Got caught drinking Captain Morgan and wine. I was fucked up. Yeah, yeah fucked up, dude. Yeah. So I chilled, stacked my bread while I was locked up, and then it was so lucrative. I did it for like a, I think probably three months. It was a three month. That's a good gig. Yeah. And I, that was when I got. And you were in high school. Yeah, man. It's nice. It was very good. I was reading. I was reading uh like Huckleberry Finn. I would sit there and read books, play video games. Would you spend your money on after the stint? When you got out the bid, off when you got off your bid, would you spend your money on? It would have had to have mostly been on weed, and pretty much gas. I yeah. was weed and gas. I was at my only my, at food, obviously. <laughs> Don't get me started on gas, dude. Yeah, Colorado <laughs> probably guzzles. <laughs> no, you, yeah. got, you got the card though. Oh yeah, yeah. You got the, the company, company card, card for the Rado. They, they give you a they give you a they give you an employee. You can only get gas at one spot, and they they give you the number for it. That's such a pain in the ass yeah. to type that in. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, that stinks. I had yeah. to refill fucking cars. 
constantly. Yeah. What's it cost these days to fill up a uh, Rado? <laughs> Colorado, sixty, seventy bucks, dude. What? Can, like to fill it up? Yeah, for sure. What would you yeah. do if that code bounced? And like you must put a credit card. Like, in. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel to fill up the tank, though, Lamar? It feels good. Just feels to, like good. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah, in tank. Front of that. Yeah, it's and it's really a brand good. new Colorado. It's like maybe like 2015. Oh, it's still kind of nice, though, dude. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it's clean, dude. It's clean. It's how, like many, how many? How uh, many? Less than ten thousand miles. miles? Yeah, uh, do you clean, got? Dude. Do you have the, the shorties look at you when you're filling <laughs> it up i don't know i'm in delco driving in a big truck shorty you know, you'll get nice. the eyes of some shorties yeah. dude yeah yeah maybe i'm getting some looks have you have any shorties paid you a visit lately nah mm. dude have you been able to ejaculate nah dude that's why i'm trying to blow up the ukraine <laughs> <laughs> so you're pro-russian <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, I'm pro blowing shit up. <laughs> when you can't have sex, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, dude, it I'm happens. Right yeah. So I'm trying to beat Tommy and Chris at basketball. No. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. Cool. Man. Yeah, it's sad when that Wait, like can I say, to destroy can I say, when you can't come. I'm gonna say this, you guys. Wait, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I was a little offended when you picked Tommy to play basketball over me, guys. He Ooh. was just there. <laughs> Still, dude, it doesn't matter, dude. You, I gotta be honest, you would not be on the list if I wrote. If I had ten people, really, ten people of our group of friends, yeah, Lemare would not. Who be would included. you put Sid above the kid, me? the kid, the kid, Sid the kid's oh probably hotter God. than you. Lemare does have a wet jump. I'll give him that. Come on, dude. Yeah. Sid, I, I, now look, this I, was before I, I, I heard you could play, dude. Somebody, crazy. I heard through the grapevine that you were only, pretty good. I've only been challenging you for three years. Well, you're, <laughs> you're you got to go through O'Connor first. Yeah. You got to go through O'Connor first. Yeah. First level, dude. I like <laughs> the anime sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's your test. <laughs> you so wait, we you come up here, come up here on a Tuesday and play against O'Connor. Yeah. Actually, right. we have a park right around here. Ooh, <laughs> I'll play, dude. I fucking play. You got playing those dungarees. <laughs> you got split your dungarees. <laughs> dude, you're gonna make a goat, though, dude. You're gonna throw it all away to the MGDs. <laughs> <laughs> throw away my career. Like, Damn, was that the guy who almost grabbed the net at the park? <laughs> 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 he, gra he grabbed a quarter out of the. Already tried to touch the sign. <laughs> yeah. I have a good video. You have the video. Ramirez Please hops. include that in the intro. <laughs> yeah, we'll make a nice intro. Of Ramirez. What, what was it? Ramirez got a, big up. Big a parking up. sign right by Stress Factory. <laughs> you get yeah. it? No. Ramirez got bunnies. <laughs> Ramirez had such a fucking like. It looked athletic. The build up to him jumping. <laughs> like he took like a side step and looked like he was about to jump high. <laughs> it was great. During the build up, I was like, damn, maybe Lemare is that. Like, <laughs> like he's been saying for fucking 10 years. Oh. Well, how high did he get? How high do you think off the ground? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't have cleared an MGD, dude. <laughs> he could not clear one MGD. <laughs> dude, I'm fucking. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I failed. I failed miserably. <laughs> it was rough. It was very tough. My shoes were heavy. Though, Did you so, stretch you know? it before? <laughs> True. I had some heavy shoes. You probably had day. your warehouse boots on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. You're probably tired. Yeah. I was wearing. I was wearing the Wolvies. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Steel toe. Yeah, steel toe. Steel toe yeah, Wolvies. Just weigh you down. <laughs> oh man. There. Wow. It is weird. You're, you're, I feel like people like do expect. The Ukraine Russia thing is like expect a take on it and being like yeah. obviously, dude. Yeah. It's like you know, I don't, you know, they should stop shooting at each other for sure. Certainly, <laughs> I don't agree with Russia invading a country. Yeah, sure. That's bad. Sure. I don't know why they're doing it. Yeah. And I don't. Really, That's what I'm trying to figure I out. I don't dude. know anything. He has to know that like there's no way, unless he mad dogs, dude, and just nukes the rest of the world, and then we just become Russia, world Russia. That's his only play I can see. At once, you just send them all out, just unannounced. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Yeah, but they, they're gone. They're gone right away. This, as soon as they launch, we're, everybody else is launching. Yeah, but then you have an army of mutants against you. Everybody's mutant. I'm saying mutants. Like you hit. I know, like, but everybody's mutant. If Russia launches, they're they're gone. They're more gone than everybody they launched against. But don't we have stuff to like intercept them midair? Some of them, yeah. Israel has a defense system. Iron Shield. I know we're working Iron on Dome. the shield and stuff. Yeah, but I, I think like the U.S. Have, like, has that. We have to. We, have we gave them that. It's what? built in the United States. The Iron Shield? Yeah. So we got that. The Iron Dome. Sweet. Everything's built. Sweet. We build everything. Dude, if anything, worst comes to worst, we'll deploy a plane, shoot the thing, right? Yeah, we'll deploy planes. 
<laughs> shoot the shit out the sky, right? True. That makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah they'll right. get a warning be like, we're warning you, this is your last warning. Take that nuke back Dude. and turn around. We will blow it up. I saw on Twitter, it said they're giving a high, they're giving a strike for a missile strike warning today for Kiev. Russia was. Missile strike warning. Yeah. See, I get paranoid thinking like this is like the oligarchs of the world being like, all right, COVID's wearing off. Yeah. We got to scare the shit out of yeah, them again. That's, a little, yeah. that's true. Definitely. Yeah. It's kind of what I feel like, man, because I'm, you know, yeah, I'm not trying to belittle anyone's situation again. I'm, I, I, if anyone gets it, I get it, dude. I was moving <laughs> yeah. last night. Yeah. yeah. I was plasticking at 1030. I was going to go to 1130. <laughs> My wife was like, we'll just do it in the morning. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But still, it was fucking late. dude. Yeah. Got home. Tacked up. Yeah. Tacked up the blinds. <laughs> Yeah. Took my dogs back. I mean, that is a pretty fucking... That's tough, dude. <laughs> that was a lot, dude. I'm yeah. pretty sleep deprived right now. Yeah. And I was in Salt Lake City. I'm tired from that. Yeah. I was so crabby, dude. I was so crabby towards my wife. I feel really? so bad. It's nothing tough, major. Dude. Doing nothing the road major. like that's tough. And then you come home and it's like... Well, I didn't I didn't realize it until we were in the house and there's other people. <laughs> it's like there's other people there. They're starting to like demolish the roof deck. Yeah. She calls me from the second floor. I was on the third and I just went, what? Mm. Yeah. And I was like... Sorry, guys. Yeah. I was like, fuck, I'm being a crab. Absolute crab. Were you getting hit with crab, though? What was she yelling? I wasn't. That was the thing. Was she yelling something nice? She's being a Jolly nice? Joe. She's being a Jolly Joe. Mm. But she will so she will start being like, the plastic's coming. I'm like, it always comes off the fucking wall when you do yeah. it. Like, just come, it's all right. Put more stuff. She killed me today. To actually, I know why I was so crabby. 